to eat breakfast, I also fill out my bullet journal. So, this is what my bullet journal looks like. I have the habits that I want to track. And then just a cute little introductory page. And then... My goals are all written out for the day, so I have full school goals and then personal goals. And then I have a monthly overview. So I talk about how last month went, what I want to do differently this month, and that sort of thing. And then my main page is my fitness log. So I write in all my calories, how I slept, how many steps I got, and what I worked out. Every morning, I will sit here, eat breakfast, and fill this out. Yes, I'm using a straw, but these are reusable straws. Um, <clears throat> so I just put them in the dishwasher and reuse them all the time. They are, I never throw them away, and they're great. I haven't had an issue with them yet. Say no to single-use plastics, guys. <clears throat> I don't know, you guys are probably going to wonder how many calories this was that I've been eating. It was 382, 33 carbs, 13 fat, and 40 protein. Don't long is the sugar-free syrup because it has like 5 carbs. And if I want to, I'll just go in and add um, a random carb, 5. So, But I'm going to usually track it because I don't use that much. The serving thing. All right, so it is 8.38 and we are headed to the gym. I'm gonna do a quick workout for today, probably get something upper body and then come back. And it is 54 degrees outside, which may not seem cold to anybody else, but us in Florida think it's freaking cold. My hands are like, numb because they're so cold and I'm from Missouri you would think that 54 oh, would be fine for me it's cold your body gets so acclimated to the current temperatures of where you are that like I forget that 50 54 is warm back in Missouri but we are gonna try to go sampling today for some sea turtles so I will take you guys along she's just gonna be like a day in the life of tabby this is what i try to do on all of my days off from school yeah it goes guys it's driving down to 41 but first gotta get this workout in and then we're gonna wait until noon to hopefully it'll warm up a little bit more right now it's flat out there it's looking beautiful today and tomorrow we've had non-stop rain for two weeks haven't been able to go outside or do anything so we're really looking forward to getting back out there and seeing what's out there because sea turtles are of course reptiles so that means they're ectothermic and ectothermic means that they rely on the ambient temperature or the temperature of the water around them to provide them with body temperature so if it gets too cold what will happen is a turtle will be called cold stunted and really lethargic and um, usually a cold stunted turtle has to be rescued and rehabilitated and brought their core temperature back up and then they'll be released back into the environment so right now the Gulf of Mexico is super cold and um, we've still been finding some sea turtles which is odd because they should be moving offshore into some warmer waters so we are just trying to see what we find like Every time we go out and find a turtle, we're shocked because we still see them here and they're fine and thriving. And at other times we go out in the winter and we don't see anything. So it's, it's a give or take um, of what we're going to see in a given day. But I'm excited. We haven't been out for a while. And it's just fun. It's not fun because it's so cold for us. So you'll be seeing how I dress for cold weather diving. I'm not sure if we're going to go scuba diving or snorkeling today, free diving um, slash snorkeling, um, or which reef we're going to go to. These are all artificial reefs that we've been going to recently, but, um, so current temperature update, it is now dropped 37 degrees, 37, and the worst part about it is 
the water's fine because it almost feels warmer because it's 62 ish, 64. That the water feels warm, but once you're wet and then you get out and it's 30 degrees. Freaking freezing, man. You're just so cold. All right, workout complete. I am on my way home. I didn't film any of it just because there was a lot of people in the gym today. Um, I'm gonna go home. We are not meeting till maybe about 1 o'clock, so I have a few hours to get some work done. So I'll work on some schoolwork. I have a bunch of things that I have to do. So I will check back in with you guys once it's time to head to the beach. And hopefully it's warmer, the water's clear, and we see some turtles. But until then, catch you later. Do we have warm showers in the south areas? Like, <laughs> Think of the viewers, Tabby. <laughs> wow, I bet someone here feels really foolish for putting on 10 layers of neoprene today. <laughs> You might die in that. So, 
we are done. We were out in the water for like 30 minutes. The water itself was 59 degrees, which if you don't know, it's freaking cold. Um, I cannot feel my toes. I cannot feel my toes. I cannot feel my fingers. And the visibility was crap, which is kind of what I thought it would be, but we had to go out and test it. Anyways, it's 12.44 and I'm going home to cuddle up with some hot chocolate and some foot warmers. Anything I can to get warm at this point. And I'm pretty sure if I wasn't sick before, I am definitely going to get sick now. The head is hurting. Can you see how cold my hands are? And I haven't eaten very much except for a protein bar, a yogurt, other than breakfast. So it's time for some food. All right. So it is 6 20. I took a nap when I got home because I was so tired from all that stuff. And now I'm gonna eat some more. I ate um, a tortilla with some chicken and some sugar free. Um, barbecue sauce in it and I think now what I'm gonna eat is some of these chicken tenders because I really don't feel like eating much of anything but I need to eat something so I'm gonna eat some of these um and then I'm not gonna do anything else for the night I'm gonna eat some cookies like I always do I eat two cookies a night and I think we're gonna go with um chocolate chip tonight we've been eating sugar cookie the past couple nights and I'm really craving some chocolate chip cookies. So eat two of these and then I'll see where I am with macros. And I'll update you accordingly. If I eat anything else, I might not. Um, but if not, I want to go ahead and close out this vlog. Um, so if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.